I'm, I'm speechless. I'm not speechless, but then this happened. She won't start. And it's my fault. It's a hundred, a hundred percent my fault. I'm sitting out here this morning plotting my trip, trying to figure out where I want to go with these last few hours I have. And I guess I sat too long and I let the battery die. And it's not as simple as jump starting a slingshot. You can't just push start it. Uh, I Googled it. And the battery is not under the hood, which is a good thing because I spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out how to open the hood. It, it won't pull and pop like the uh, videos say. So I ended up calling the guy that I rented it from. Got a tongue lashing from the guy I rented it from. And he explained that the battery is down there. And I need to take that cowling off and uh, jump start it from there. So that's what we're doing now. And uh, it makes for fun. It makes, it makes for the adventure. I'm not mad at all. So there'll be more after this. Right, Romario? Let's do it. And Romario is ready to help. Yay. <laughs> Getting up on his day off. There you go. Here's Rod. All right. So, one down, one to go. And of course, there we go. She came good. All right. And then he said there's another two underneath the bottom. Those two, these two. All right, there's some kind of clips here. Oh, I think that's what he's talking about. That you need a screwdriver for. That clip. And then this clip. I was able to get with my fingers. Yay. Don't worry about that. All right, and then that should come out. Let's see a back track. Too easy. So we just connect to the negative terminal. We're gonna connect to the positive. How about the jumper cables? Can you hand them to me? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. I spend more time putting sockets back in my kit than I care to admit. <laughs> Okay. I think we're good. No, I think there's some my kit the cables. Oh, because okay. it's a little battery sensor right there. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do. Just got eleven six in it. That's not bad. Eleven six and that's start. Okay. How's it going? Paul the handsome one hearing here and here is far as I can tell is Del Mar, California. Del Mar, Del Mar Beach, California and happy accident. I made a wrong turn. I'm on the phone uh, talking to somebody and I made a right when I was supposed to make a left and I ended up here. I found this little health food store called Choice. Super food and juice bar. And I think I'm gonna do breakfast here and experiment with some uh, some superfood. I don't know. Superfood? Sounds super good. <laughs> you guys know about this place, let me know, alright? 
And as always, if you want to get involved, 810-239-2901. Radio stations, always looking for good music. 810-259-9789. All right? So as always, there will be more. There will be more after this. good people Paul. Paul the handsome one hearing here listen you ever go to the I couldn't make up my mind they had all those toasts and all those ingredients and I just couldn't I was boggled so I ended up with a coffee shot with oat milk oat milk the first the furthest I've ever been was Man, I'm gonna South need a minute to you know, I do a shower. We've been to a shower. Identify that. I've never been to Valparaiso, never been to Wow. Hold on a second. Yeah. Let's just stay at the right. Valparaiso. This is a this is a town in Colorado so, called. It tastes like there's a lot of healthy stuff in it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And there's flavors that I'm I'm not used to. I haven't quite tasted the coffee yet, but everything else is tolerable. So I think I'm going to take this and find me some eggs and bacon. Don't tell anybody. There'll be more after this. Listen, guys, I'm still here, and I got to do a, co uh, a correction. This is not Del Mar. This is Salona Beach, Salona Beach, California. So we're going to have to mark it on the map as... Mission accomplished, all right? There'll be more after this. So I think I found the bike capital of the world. I've seen so many bikes. I gave up the idea of bacon and eggs. It's probably about noon, noon 11 here, and I decided to go an entirely different route. You ready for this? Fish and chips. Fish and chips! <laughs> this is a stop at the uh, Start Fresh Cafe. I was on here on the way out and got that avocado toast. And I ended up by happenstance uh, passing it on the way back. So I said, what the heck? Uh, and I felt it was too early to get the fish and chips last time, but uh, this time it's not too late. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy this and then get back on the road. We'll talk more. Start Fresh Cafe, and as you can see, I tore it up. <laughs> I tore it up. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to take you with me. So don't go away. There'll be more after this. <laughs> uh, enjoy your winter.
<laughs> oh, you're just mean. You're a mean uh, SOB, no. aren't you? <laughs> And someone hearing here and you have to tell me where here is hi y'all Luke welcome to Oceanside Oceanside California yeah. what do most people do here for a living in Oceanside oh honestly I'm not sure uh, I know a lot of guys surf um, I'm a heavy equipment operator okay uh, I'm a foreman with TVD construction okay um, but yeah, everybody, everybody seems to be working professionals. Um, there's a lot of business around here, office type businesses. Nice. Do you live yeah. here in Oceanside? Yeah, I live in Oceanside. Expensive place to live? Cheaper than uh, Orange County. Wow. Yeah. So what are you talking for a two bedroom? It's, ooh, a two bedroom? I don't even know. I haven't even looked. You're looking for for a room, you're looking at about a thousand for a... Uh, it's your, like a like a private, you know, master suite would be like a thousand. Orange County, you're looking at like fifteen hundred uh -huh. plus um, for a one bedroom. You're looking at a couple grand. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's a beautiful place to live. And I've been all over the country. I've been Colorado, Texas, South Carolina, Wisconsin, and I just keep coming back to California. What about the food? I mean, it seems like it's all for tourists, and now you end up paying tourist prices for your regular groceries, right? Mm, yeah, I mean, food's pretty much the same no matter where you go. I like to cook at home. I was a cook for a couple of years okay. at a, a little restaurant, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, standard Mexican food or anything. I mean, you go you can go to Wienerschnitzel, so it's still, you're gonna be out the door for $15. It right, 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 right. Yeah. All right, so you're the ambassador for Oceanside. What would you tell people is the best reason to be here the best reason to be in oceanside honestly the people are really mellow um it's got a smaller town feel than a lot of uh, places like you know san diego or orange county la i've been all up and down the coast and this is kind of one of the last surf towns left i mean even places like san clemente i lived for five years is it's getting way more upscale and, and way more tourism the tourism down here you kind of get to see it how it is you know real local um i got a bunch of friends that they go surfing every day it's, if, if you want the kind of coastal lifestyle, it's great. But if you go inland, you know, 15 minutes, you're in horse country. And uh, all, you know, you're looking at three acre properties and people are riding horses around. And, and, and then if you, if you like dirt biking, the desert is right down there off the 76, Ocotillo Wells. And that's, that's like the central destination unless you go up north to Pismo. But okay. it's a great spot. I, I go dirt biking with friends. We make a trip out there. It's not really desert season yet, it's still a little too hot out in the desert, but um, come uh, come end of October and through until about, you know, January, February, that's desert season. Yeah, I've done uh, Pismo Beach, I like that. Pismo's like great. That. You can go Pismo almost any time of year, you know, but right. out in the desert, you know, it's 100 degrees right now. Right. Nobody wants to camp in that kind of weather, it's right. miserable. But New Year's, we always do a New Year's trip out to the desert, it, you know, all the fireworks you're not allowed to have in the city. And, right. Yeah. Nice, man. Well, hey, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Right, guys. Ocean City. What do you think? It's an option, huh? It's an option. Affordable rooms, a thousand dollars, maybe two grand for a one bedroom. Hmm. Said the blind man. I see. All right. There'll be more after this. So where's Fred or Frank? Uh, you mean Frank? Anybody who answer to <laughs> They don't like motorcycles. Yeah, they don't like or motorcycles. Skateboards. Or skateboards. Yeah, anything that goes boom. Ah. Nice. What's your name? Burl. Burl? It was nice meeting you, Burl. Same here. You visiting or you just... just yeah, just passing through. Just, yeah, yeah. So I've got like 17 hours to burn. We do fly from here or drive from here? I drove, uh, I drove from here to Vegas and flew out of Vegas. Oh, okay. So how do you like Vegas? I like it as a short stop, 24 hours, and then you gotta get out of there. 
Yeah, I mean, it's nice if you've never been there. Yeah. But I don't think I can handle the people, the weather. Not living forever, no, no. No. No way, uh-uh. It's way, way too hot for me. Way. You My sister's like in Phoenix. Phoenix is a hot area, it's too. It's horrible, yeah. All right, so, hey, there you have it. We met the pigeon guy of Oceanside, California. He said he's been doing about four years. Hobbies are hobbies. I'm not mad at him. Listen, if you guys want to get a hobby and want to get involved with public access television, I'm going to turn this way so I've got the ocean behind me. Give me a call at 810-239-2901. That's 810-239-2901. Or if you got clean music for the radio station, WFOV 92.1 LPFM Flint. Do the same thing, but dial a different number. 810-259-9789. All right, as always, there'll be more after this. All right, guys, Paul, the handsome one hearing here, and here is the last beach. It is the last beach. It's over. It's said. It's done. I just got out of the water, so I got wet, got a little ocean salt water in my mouth, and I think I have satisfied my need. Everything else from here is inland, guys, so this is the last beach of the trip. And uh, I'd say I'm tearing up. Yeah, yeah, I'm tearing up. I'm not happy about it. But you got to do what you got to do. And what you guys got to do is you got to holler at me. 810-239-2901. You know what? And you know why. There'll be more, as always, after this. Well, all right, good people. Paul, the handsome one, hearing you here and here. <laughs> here is a pretty cool place. I don't think I've been driving an hour outside from the beach. And I am in the middle of absolute nowhere. And then this pops up. Little candy store in the middle of nowhere. There's a campground here, too. We're actually in a national forest. Um, I don't remember, is it Cleveland National Forest? I have to look, I have to look it up. But it's off of 74 and it's fabulous. Just a little quaint place. And I talked to the guy inside and, and he had this to say about why he lives here. This is the Cleveland National Forest. I had it right, Cleveland National Forest. Yes. Yeah. And how long have you lived here? We've lived here six years. Six years, wow. So, why? Look at that. I see the mountains. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's my office. No, so my wife's favorite TV show used to be like Tiny House, Tiny Living. Uh huh. And we had a big house. It wasn't tiny. Have to come home after work all the time. You got to tidy it up. I got kids who were pigs. You know, it was one of those things. One night we're watching. I said, Do you think we could ever do that? And we had an old RV. We decided, let's try it. So we live in 240 square feet. Yeah. I've got. Uh, two kids that are 20 years old and they're about 250 pounds. Okay. I have two dogs. He has a husky mastiff that we thought was a big dog uh -huh. until we got this King Shepherd. He's 150 pounds and two years old. And he has one more year to grow. And we all live in 240 square feet. And we love it. Nice. Every time we take my dog out, I open the door. I'm in the Cleveland National Forest. Don't have to put him in the car anymore. No car sickness. 
what do you what do you do for a living out here? I know I understand you you running this, but your boys, twenty years old, what are they doing? Uh, one of them works with us. He's autistic. Okay. And he works with us. And then my my son works for trucking companies. Okay. So how far is it to your favorite restaurant? Well, my wife, because she's a cook and a baker, is very picky. Okay. We don't go out very much because we're working all the time. We don't do very much on this. But if my wife eats any place. There's actually, if you keep going, hey guys, if you go down the highway, when it gets to the, the end of the Highway 74 down there, mm -hmm. left or right, right on the side of the road, there's this little mom and pop taco stand. It, it looks like a dome, but Mama Lena's is the best place in town. And that's your favorite? Good for you. I saw the tacos off the chain. So now, what state are you originally from? I'm from California, born bred. Okay, and? I'm from the UK. That's why we have the Beatles section over here. I should have known. I should have known. Well, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. Let me ask, are there apartments here for rent, or is it just a campground and you guys? No, so right in the, there's a Ortega Oaks campground right over here. Okay. We have long-term RV parks, so that's monthly. Uh -huh. And then we also have the units that they rent on a yearly basis. And they're 400 square feet. Basically, it's just a, a studio apartment. Uh, and you have, the, you have to take it on your yearly lease. Okay, and what do those cost, you know? Uh, twelve fifty a month. Twelve fifty a month. Yeah. How far away am I from the ocean? At this point, you are about twenty-five miles. Twenty-five miles away from the yeah. ocean. Most of that's this road. <laughs> <laughs> and you literally, by the time you get down to San Juan, you have about another three miles going through the, the uh, houses, and then you're, you're at Dodini and the beach in Dana Point. And done, Dana Point. Yeah. All right, so it's twenty-five miles, maybe an hour. Yeah, today with the kind of car you have, like yeah. the traffic, you know, more like 30, 35 minutes. Nice. Man, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. I don't think I got your name. My name's Ian. Ian. And this is my lovely wife, Vicki. This is her store. All right, Vicki. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks for coming in. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Be safe. All right, guys. Johnny, how you doing, The candy store on 74. Hey, that oh, rhymes. Right. I like that. That rhymes. Maybe they knew that. <laughs> All right. There'll be more. After this.